All right, what I wanted to do, I'm not going to do. But instead, I was scrolling through my recently commented, it's like my recent comments, right? And from a year ago, my friend, Maddie, who's usually, I almost called her Stacy. Oops. Maddie, who's usually on the channel with me, replied to, commented on one of my old live streams. Because years ago, I used to do daily, weekly live streams, I forget. And she commented, in all caps, Oh God, cringe. I've only seen a second of this since doing this. I can tell you, I look different. My hair is cut. This was, actually, I can tell you when this was from. July 21st, 2019. Exactly four years ago today as of recording this video, or when I started, because I have 30 more minutes to this. This live stream was an hour, one minute, and six seconds long. And I will be reacting to the full thing. And I do cringe a lot at my past self, especially 2019 and 2020 me, who was stupid as fuck. At this point, I had the singles. You need to calm down and me. I'm not quite sure when the Archer came out for Lover. And I can look that up. I was literally on Wikipedia. Looking up Kyla Ray Johnson albums. Okay, this was July 21st. No, I didn't have I didn't have any of the other singles yet. I only had me and you need to calm down. When did the Archer Actually hang on, because I have a feeling she released the Archer in July. She released it July 23rd, so I was about to get The Archer, but I didn't know yet because she announced on a live stream and that a live stream, at the end of it, she had released it. So let's go. Let's start. My Ariana poster in the background. Oh my god, this is back when I had my Taylor shrine. Like my 1989. Oh, what's up? Ugh. This is back when I had my Taylor Swift calendar for the reputation themed one, right? Oh, I can also see my reputation poster. I'm pointing to the wall it's on. I think that's more Polaroids that didn't fit. Pen and Hong tickets, an Ariana poster, which I do not have anymore because it's from a magazine and it got all ripped up when I changed my room around. Um. My Taylor Swift calendar is surrounded by 1989 Polaroids. Me and Maddie jokingly called it my Taylor Shrine. So, and up, I am going to be reading Funny Fan Fiction. And ironically, I'm in my library and I've read Finch and Mom. My fucking fan is so loud! For what reason? Turn your fan down. Oh, no, I haven't. I haven't finished one of them. <laughs> Turn your fan down. Is that one? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's not going. I'll do it. Okay, so this one. Oh god. I'm going to read it by my best friend. Actually, I'm going to start with one of my own ones. Oh god. Which one do I start with? Oh, and my owl calendar. Fun fact, every time I have a Taylor calendar, I always have two calendars. It's only when I have Taylor calendars, though. I'll show you. I have my red one. And then I have an X-Lotl themed one. And this wall, where the big Ariana thing is, 
that's the wall I was pointing to about like the old Taylor calendar and like the red poster and everything else. God, I need to fix my, there we go. Is it charging? Yes. But that's the wall everything was on. God, what phone is that? It's definitely not an iPhone because I didn't get one till Christmas time of 2020. Oh god. Which one is it? Which one? Yeah, so there's... So we have this celebrity group chat story. Celebrity group chat? Oh. Not the one I was thinking of. Actually, you know what I could do? No, you're not gonna do that one. Because read this Maggie Little Wayne gets started, which is on Celebrity Good Bus. It's about this, um, a bunch of celebrities and you, Maddie, and my fan fiction boyfriend, Graham. And the love Simon obsession stuff. coming in strong. And so it's by Maddie. Also, I like to clarify that I don't call Bram my fanfiction boyfriend anymore. I call him my fictional boyfriend, even though he's literally only in fanfics. And of course, the only reason why we're called Simon and Bram is because of Love Simon. We actually went by my legal name and Thomas. And Thomas I literally found online. Sorry. Um, Colin Ari in 2019. That hasn't changed. Also, you like my poster? I may have not have filmed with her this year, but I stole that from her. <laughs> it's a Danish Woman World Tour poster. Maddie, me, Graham, Nikki, Cardi, Justin, Halsey, Billy, Selena, Demi, Gabby. Also, also, I like to point out that half of these celebrities in this story, me or her, are not a fan of anymore. Who the fuck was that last one? Nikki, Cardi, Justin, Halsey, Billy, Selena, Demi, Gabby, Onset, Born, Camilla, and Hermione, Allie, Dean, and Taylor. Summary. So, so, Taylor? Okay, so the celebrities were forced to onto this bus for some type of publicity with three random fans. With the three random fans. If they didn't do this, all their private information, such as rumors and other personal stuff, would be released. <laughs> the only stop, they only stop the stretch your legs and go to the bathroom at gas stations, and they have to sleep in the bus. The bus. You're welcome, privileged celebrities. You're welcome, you privileged celebs. Okay, now on to the story. Chapter one. One quarter top left, Ari, Halsey, Billy, Bone, Camille, bottom left, Nandy, Taylor, Ali, Dean, and Ramon. Top right, Justin Graham. You can tell that I don't know what the fuck reading speed is here because I'm going top bunk, Dina, Mani, Nermini, and like said it so fast, like I could, I only heard Dina and Nermini. Demi, Stephen, and Cardi. Bottom right is Daddy, Sammy, P, Upset, and Nikki. No! Sammy, Stephen. You're unhappy to be here too. And yes, well, that and my bunk is next to Pete and nearly under Justin. He goes, at least you're your brand man left. Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay, so the, re so the reason me, the reason I screamed about beating by Pete and Justin is I hate Justin. Both me and Maddie hate Justin. Um, and in the earlier fanfics, Maddie was always Maddie was always with Ari and has always been with Ari. Me, on the other hand, was with Pete for a little bit. Then Pete and Ari's relationship ended. 
So then I decided, and I became obsessed with Love, Simon. I'm like, hey, let's end Finding Pete's relationship. Let me date this dude. His name's Thomas, but we're going to change his name to Bram. But at the time, we didn't know his name was going to get changed to Bram because I didn't know that Love, Simon existed. I'm under Cardi. Fuck this. <laughs> I reversed that laughing. I actually just saw the look on the fifth, five age, fifth underneath girls' faces. Um, why are we all together? Like, seriously, oh, yes. Reunion Monday screen. No, Lauren said for me. Fuck you, Dennis. <laughs> Mad dog, why do I have to drive the bus? Oh my god, yeah, that's right. Every now and again, Maddie would add her mother's now husband. But back then, I do believe they were just dating back then. Um, had now husband, back then boyfriend, into the story <laughs> for no fucking reason at all. Now, remind you, when she started writing this fanfic, I wasn't supposed to be a part of it. He's only in this chapter. He's the driver. Shop and driver, right? Now. Billy was sitting on her bunk eating comments. Oh my god. Uh, Billy, do you have any comments, Fuzzy Ash laughing? No comment unless you push me into a closet and tell me to pee there. Which is a reference to when Billy went to the doctors and she had to do that urine test and she was forced to go into a closet and she had to pee. Yeah. She peed in the cup, but also over peed in it. She peed in the closet on the floor. That's really sad. Maddie, no bear. You're with people you like. So Simon's getting frustrated. Oh. I have Gabby right next to you. I have Kayla right next to me, and I don't like her. You're fine, Maddie. What? Cadbury, turn on the air. I'm on the group. His name's Emmanuel. I can control the air where you are. From where you are, idiot. I said, I'm already annoyed with most of one here. Hey, Ari. No, Ari snapped. Annoyed as well. Then a random message was given from the speaker of us. Hello, I bet you all think this is stupid. What you have to say, like this said. All your information will be leaked. Also, can not ignore. Stop eating while you're reading. Has to be is that so hard? Like, really? Is it hard to take a bite, then chew it, then swallow, then read? You're literally on a live stream which has no time limit. Each other. A switch box. That will end in the same consequences. Have a nice ride. Asshole, Selena. Unitator. Well, since we can't ignore each other, I hope band members in my mind. Hi, Alice. It's Mark. Hey, if any of you are mean, I have a ruler. Yep. I also saw you had a pan, knife, and brick. Why, come on? Said, confused. Because she's mad, he Simon and said. Really, can I have it? Do you know if you didn't? You do not have my talkies, Billy. Yup, but laugh. All right, don't ignore me this whole time. Please, Maddie Simon. Please just leave me alone right now, Ari Simon. Maddie nodded and wanted to talk to Lauren for someone. Oh, Ari. yeah, that's right, I remember. I brought the bath salts. <laughs> I have, I made Okay, so there was this whole thing where, um, I don't remember the exact stuff, but I do believe they were, the previous fanfic, they ended in a fight. She's gonna have to comment on this video and help me out on why the fuck that they weren't talking on the bus. Because I don't remember. I know they were, like, I remember it, like, led from, like, it, and, like, it, that's how they ended the last fanfic fighting, or they just started this one and was some, for some stupid reason. I do believe the reason was because she had to deal with Pete. And so she didn't want to talk to anyone. I mean, I don't blame her. I paused the wrong damn thing. I meant to unpause my phone, not this. I have to stick them up my those have to stick those up my girlfriend's butt. Oh, oh wait, it's not safe to do that. Oh. Oh yeah. So the bath salts up your girlfriend's butt came from a video I was watching. 
by Sophia Nygaard, I think is how you say her last name, where she tried Japanese vending machines, and one of the vending machines gave out bath salt, and it said which Japanese not recommended to stick up your girlfriend's butt. I still laugh about that video to this day. Uh, he said, here's the, here's where that comes in. So if you know Sophia Nygaard. Said it right. I butchered her name. She posted a video of weird Japanese vending machines. And one of the vending machines had this sign that talked about bath salts, how it was enjoyable to eat. Not in, like, it was enjoyable, but not recommended to stick up your girlfriend's butt. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it was the sign basically said you can eat this, but don't stick it up your girlfriend's butt. I told I died laughing the minute I watched that. It was 2019. That was season four of Escape the Night, I do believe. Three or four, I can't remember. I want to say four though. Maddie said, who said I hated you? I asked, looking over. The way you've been acting towards her, does that. Or responded. Stop eating. Wait, Wait till you're done. Some chicken Live stream. Is. Well, not the chicken plate. The chicken is. is undercooked. Oh, not the um, undercooked chicken. But she got it off the YouTube video where this um couple was does it was these two guys that had to been they were supposed to audition together. I don't remember what it was, I think it was for X Factor. Yes. And they got into a fight over undercooked chicken. So now may I remind you I was still a baby gay when this happened. Those dudes were clearly gay. <laughs> and I was like, oh, they might be gay. No, they were clearly gay. Stupid. You're fucking stupid. Now, time Maddie has control, she makes every time she wants, she makes me a brain fight over undercooked chicken. Yeah, I'm literally totally in the other trans hilarious. Literally in the older fanfics of mine, and but mainly hers, because a lot of my older ones have been deleted. A lot of hers too. Some of them stayed, but a lot of them were deleted. And not, I would say about ninety nine percent of them, like after she found that video, me and Brian fought over undercooked chicken. We're still fighting about it to this day. Also, fun fact, because of this joke, but and for other reasons, I can't eat chicken now. Because every time I go to eat chicken, I think about our goddamn joke. She has since apologized for owning a chicken for me. I'm like, I don't I don't care. Like I honestly don't care. Like chicken's fucking stupid. Bruh, I know someone who made some bacon some sandwiches. And he said, looking at Camila, just didn't put your dick away, so let me tell you. Do you seriously think I hate you, Arya? Also, I cannot remember if she kept writing Ariana or just Ari, but a lot of the fans, I don't know if, like, the newer fans, like, that came in during this time, but, like, if you're, like, an OG, like, fan of her, like, yours truly, my everything era fan, a lot of fans started calling her Ari, and she went along with it. I don't know if we're still calling her that to this day, but, because I've seen a lot of people write Ariana, but a lot of the older fans are still calling her Ari to this day. Also, may I remind you, a lot of the older fans that became a fan of, like, yours truly, my everything era, was a fan of her when she was Cat Valentine, so. Later that day. Maddie smiled and shook her head. Now, also, Billy, do you, do you steal my up? Also, I forgot to mention, um, 
this video will the video I'm reacting to will either be linked up here and like the information section or in the description down below, whichever I feel like if I remember. Um if not, the video is titled Funny Read and Funny Fanfics and it'll be under like my live stream section. No, you ain't that really go back. I'm being serious. Alright, said sigh. I am too. I just don't think you hate me. It was a joke. Calm down, Maddie left. Mariana! Brandon signed me song. I love that. Oh, he said. Okay, stop. We're not having a... I love that. Hang on. I did Ozzy not catch said. that. Down, Maddie left. Mariana! Mariana, oh. Brandon signed me song. I love that. Mariana, Ozzy said, the ship name of Maddie and Ariana. And to this day, me being a fan of Marina now, mixes them up all the time. Like, I'll go to write Marina, my fanfics, but write Mariana. Because it's literally, Marina is the same thing. Just add an extra letter. I think it's an A. Hang on. Yeah, you just add an A. I was looking at it. Let me come. You just add an A and you got Mariana for Marina. Okay, stop. We're not having no drought for you. Culture needs a sub on mom's head screen. Oh. I just have one question. Why the hell is Camille so quiet right now? Oh. Did you, ask. Did, you, did you not notice that she's reading something on her phone, dumbass? Dina? Grown? I have to pee! Just in scream. Well, too bad. Our first stop is in an hour. So just pee in a water bottle. I actually am hungry, so I'm going to grab something. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And that's the first chapter. What's taking you so long? Just go to the next chapter again. Yeah. Go to the next chapter. Yeah, go on. Thank you so much. That's not going up so in the future. Chapter two. Finally. What is this? Patty yelled beginning to laugh. She had picked up something off the ground. It's a Christmas tree squishy. Which should be on the bottom side. I fucking know what this is a reference to. I'm gonna say it in the video. But just in case if it's not clear enough from the video to this one. What Maddie finds on the ground is a squishy I had years ago that was a christmas tree i had too to mark the difference between my most used one and my underused one i marked the most used one with with sharpie on the bottom and i do believe i put tape on it too but i'm not quite too sure why does it have sharpie on the bottom <laughs> forget that i want a sandwich just to once again <laughs> sandwiches come from mold Come from that one over there. Hermione said, just ripped me off. No, I will not share my donkeys. Billy yelled. It wasn't me asking this time to be up. It was me. Fuck you. <laughs> he said, Billy, I laughed. Maddie screamed, are you? 
Are you done being bitchy towards everyone? Can we actually talk to you now without getting slapped? How's that slapping? I already looked at her with anger nice. What the actual hell is your problem, Nathan? Yes. My problem is seeing that fucker feed and being reminded about everything that she always did. It's not my fault you have emotional issues that you need to figure out. Also, this was never confirmed. But me and Maddie have reasons to believe that Pete treated her like absolute dog shit. So in the fanfics, me and her kind of made reference to that. By having them hate each other. She felt bad. It's not her fault that you're just a sex obsessed ass doesn't care about anyone's well-being. Lauren, snap. What's the fuck can you say about people's well-being? It's not like you care. You know, it's not. What makes you say she doesn't care, Demi? Ask. You wouldn't understand. You weren't there to know what you're Neither were you by the end of Fifth Harmony. You've left. Ali said, soon everyone was fighting. Cardi and Nikki were this fighting. Patty was under the bed. But he owned everything. Chabber got out to fight Pete after he went after Ari. Simon and Bram joined in that fight. All of the Fifth Harmony girls were arguing about something. Oh. Offset was arguing. Now it's Cardi. Or and cheated. Everybody stop, Billy yelled. Two lines and we're glaring at each other. One time to look at Billy. Damn, when I have you stuck on this bus with no arguing for this whole month, I'm gonna jump out the window. Stop. They're all, they're all dumb fights over the past events or nothing at all. Just wait. Billy stopped glaring at her. Just didn't rant. <laughs> Just didn't rant. And we started crying. Everyone stayed silent for us. Does everyone want to watch a movie or something? Elsie asked, I felt no Disney. <laughs> Me too. I hate Disney. Camila glared at her. I told everyone, to, I told everyone, shut up. Daddy does. Has anyone vacuumed the toilet yet? Oh, yeah. She also, um, she did bad things before she wrote chapter two. So, a lot of the quotes. Included, um, have, has anyone vacuumed the toilet yet? Comes from a fan. Commercial. She confirmed in the comments that a lot of the quotes that were in the fanfic that I thought came from other fanfics were actually from commercials. Okay, uh, that's just someone stupid. I'd say, I need to walk my fish, Taylor Grunt. That's also. From a commercial. A fan thick. And then this this part's for me. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, tell this tell the story of your brother Also, I don't fucking remember if this is Celebrity Bus One or Two. But there was a time when me and Bram were got so fucking horny that we come in Nermione's face. I don't remember if it was part one or part two, but I just remember that happening. She wrote that. That was her idea that I had nothing to do with that. Oh, Want to make that clear. Pissed because my mom wouldn't let him pet the fish. That is a true story. Daddy said Maddie's, I forget which one, but I want to say it was the older one of the two, but the younger brothers, got mad that the mother wouldn't let him pet a fish. So in certain words, pet the fish, that we asked. Fishes! God, my voice is so annoying. Maddie, tell the stories of all the fanfics you wrote. Ari said, hold them up, Maddie. So, what the hell are you? Maddie screamed. Ari was my keeping the phone away from Maddie. Read a fanfics. Ari ain't giving me the fucking phone, bitch. Maddie smelled. Startling, Ari. Maddie, I was just... Maddie, I was just messing with you, Ari said quietly. Because I'm not Maddie's time to jerk into the phone. What the hell do you have on that phone, Cardi? I smirked him. Personal shit you don't need to know. 
But yes, the air home is turning off, the bus stopped. And the bus at the bathroom stopped. Really? A gas station? I'm not I'm too good for this, just to complain. They have hot fries, man. It's mean. But was flared by a fire worker. Oh, I lost it. Oh, good job. You lost it. Goddamn thing. Here, Simon whispered. He dragged her into the family bathroom. Oh no. Then they both started making sex noises. <laughs> I can remember this. So I called Maddie over. In the fanfic, I called Maddie over and we ran into the bathroom and started making moaning sounds as if we were fucking straight. <sighs> Maddie, if you see this, what the fuck were you thinking? I, I genuinely want to know. What the fuck were you thinking? Anyways, let's get back to the video. We're only 16 minutes in. This was not impossible. No, we did not actually have sex with each other. We just started making noise. I love that I had to specify that me and her never actually fucked. That's how much of a baby gay I was that I still had to clarify that I was gay and didn't fuck a girl. Bitch, you're stupid. Then they walked out of the gas station and looked at the back. What did you do, dude? Come on, yes, Did you do? Come on, Billy. Asked. That was hilarious. Did you see the look on that client's face? I was just, we're not lovers. We're just strangers. Oh, wait. Did you did you say something? Manny was at the first. Manny was at first. Then looked over. We're not we're lovers. Up. We're just strangers. That sounds, that's a fucking song. But what song? Let me <laughs> Oh, it's a Halsey song. We're not lovers, we're just strangers. It's from a song called Strangers. Please, that song. She loves the troll. Grammy out. Oh, not the control song. Oh, yeah, She Loves Control is a Camila song that is highly theorized to be about Lauren. Well, sob. What was that song about that me asked about the person who wants it? It's about Lauren Minute, Simon. Oh, Maddie and Simon. Oh, strange. I'm sorry. What? Lauren asked. Cameron is real, Tina Young. How about Ma Mariana? Oh, my God. Not the Mariana again. Oh, so I like to specify something. I do not actually believe that Lauren and Camila dated. It, I just joke that they did because it's absolutely fucking hilarious. Um. But, like, especially when you have a song called She Loves Control, like, maybe you guys never dated, per se, but, like, you guys were really close friends. But, like, at one point in time, I did believe they dated, but then, like, Shit came up, and I'm like, eh, I don't see them ever dating. Maddie's mad at me. Her and I will never be friends. But everything is going, Ari has. Ari said, sadly. Who said I was mad at you? I just pinned it because of something I don't want you to find out. Oh my God. I'm not angry at, at, at all. Maddie explained, Ari signed a mumbled. Okay, then. Chapter 3. Third person POV. Good news, my my squishy now has tape on it. There we go. The tape now gets included. Hey, who gives a shit, Maddie? Yo, fat. <laughs> Yo, V. Good news, my my squishy now has tape on it. Simon yelled, "Hey, who gives a shit, Maddie? Yo, fat." 
I do. I give a shit, Maddie. It's mine. Fuck you. Bone jaw, everyone. I said bone, bone jaw. I said bone jaw. Bon I said. I really had to specify. Also, can I just say I'm not cringing as much as I thought I would yet, but I really had to specify. Bonjour and bon jaw. Bone jaw sound too different, like two separate things. I don't need to specify it yet. Bone jaw. A dub, he yelled walking up. It was the next day and not everyone was awake yet. Bone jaw. Elias, yeah, it's how you say hello in French. Be so confident and so brand face fun. I had a dream I had salmon vanilla. Just as said Gragu. Salmon vanilla, Lauren Greg did. Hang on, what's the cards had? What if cars had dreams? No, I better not be high, dude. I said, hey, in Strangers, Lauren says she doesn't let me have control anymore. And Camila has a song called She Loves Control. Cameron! <laughs> Hermione exclaimed. It was a coincidence, Lauren groaned. Actually, it's Marty. Oof, that sucks. Marty groaned. Fuck off, Lauren groaned. How about Magnilla? Mac wow, none of you can be shipped, Dean and Glenn. Did I really just say Mac Miller? Miller. Miller. Er. Er. Not R. Hey, Mac Miller, that's kind of funny, Camille Smirk. Millie! Billy explained. Oh, God. Damn it. Stop it. Are you screaming? Ooh, someone's jealous, Nikki Smirk. <laughs> Cardi began laughing. Ari climbed down from her bunk and cuddled up next to Ari. Maddie. Ari climbed down from her bunk and cuddled up next to Maddie. Ari, I didn't agree to this, Maddie. Left. Shut the fuck up, you're mine, and no one can take you, Ari groaned. Ari, you haven't, you haven't gone away from Maddie for the past hour. Let the poor girl breathe, Billy left. Billy, shut the fuck up, Ari. Ari on us now. That's how you're going to treat my possible friends. Then get the fuck away from me. That's crazy. I will react to the rest of it soon. I'm bored. It, it, it just hit midnight. Um, I do have a special video planned for later tonight once I get home from work because I do work. So, um, let's just say if you guys remember my Halloween Shopkins video, let's just say I've got some more and going to open them up on YouTube. I'm so excited. I do believe I got season four. Maybe I got another season, but I think it said season four. I'm not quite too sure, though. We got a full case of them. Um, I bought them half asleep. Didn't realize the price was over $200. But, yeah. Um, I'll see you all um, next week. I don't know when part two is going to happen, but I do want to finish this video. Um, I also didn't cringe as much as I thought I would. Usually, when I watch my older videos, I'm cringing within the first second of it happening. But if you want me to go back and rewatch all my older live streams from like 2019, 2018, and 2020, too. Um, not 2022, like also 2020. Um, let me know. I will. Maybe I'll do a series of revisiting old live streams. But for now, I'm going to see you guys next week. Have a good night. Stop.